Solana domain names, what's all the fuss about now? Let me show you how you can get one yourself. Hey everyone, my name's Leon. I'm a content creator over here at Collective Shift, where we try and keep you updated on what's happening in crypto so you can unlock your wealth and financial freedom and get to the next level in your life. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Solana domain names. This is made by Bonfida. First off, I'm gonna introduce you to what is a domain name? What is its purpose? Why do we actually need to use one? Number two, I'm gonna show you how to get a Solana domain name yourself. This is through using the main feature of Bonfida. Number three, I'm gonna show you how you can buy anyone else's domain name on Magic Eden. And it is now listed as an NFT. So it makes it super, super easy for everyone to filter and grab a domain name that you want specifically. And number four, I'm gonna show you how to send a transaction to your Solana domain name and make it super easy to identify what wallet you are on the blockchain. Before we go ahead, if you do like the content, make sure you like and subscribe, share it around for people to experience it. And if you are a special crypto enthusiast, make sure you check out the link in the description for the discount code to the Collective Shift platform, ladies. We try and keep you updated to the best of our ability in Collective Shift here. So let's get started. And we start with an article by Diana Chen. Diana is a content marketer over at Unstoppable Domain Names. Unstoppable Domains is actually uh, one of the most popular domain name services in Ethereum and in the crypto industry at the moment. The next famous, of course, the most famous, I would actually say, is the Ethereum Name Service or ENS. So those are the two different uh, top domain name services uh, in crypto. Uh, this is an article by Diana. Let's go ahead and read a little bit more about blockchain domains and what you need to know specifically about them just to give us an introduction to it. So domain names, you can actually think of them about like a suite of contracts, a suite of smart contracts, online uh, programs that live on the blockchain themselves. They're software written on the public blockchain. This gives them a number of unique features and advantages over traditional domains. One of the first crypto domains, if I don't know if you guys remember, was called Namecoin. Now this was way before my time in crypto. Namecoin, uh, it, it allowed you to, so uh, users could register their own dom domain name on Bitcoin. This is pretty incredible, right? Now we haven't seen this functionality continue in Bitcoin, but we have seen it live on in Ethereum and every other uh, popular layer one blockchain at the moment. However, uh, Namecoin was pre-smart contract world. The functionality was very, very limited. You couldn't do any smart contracts on there. No DeFi, no sending transactions to it, etc. Let's read some more. Uh, they're held in public registry on a publicly accessible blockchain. So think uh, Ethereum, think Solana, think Algorand, think AVAX, all of these layer one blockchains all have a name service. Um, each user holds the permissions to make updates to the domain name, which minimizes worries about servers getting hacked or domain names getting stolen. So you have the domain name yourself in your own wallet. You take custody of it. No one can take it away from you. This has a few perks and also has a few cons. Some of the perks are uh, you can build programs on top of your blockchain and run them like applications. Actually, instead of uh, records of existing domains, inspect the records of existing domains and build software to interact with them. Now, that's it for now. Let's go ahead and show you how you can go and look at some of the domain names. Uh, we'll look at Unstoppable Net Domains first, which is one of the um, Ethereum and uh, Solana and just overall domain names. They have a buy once service where you only buy the domain name once and you have to just leave it in your wallet and that's it. You don't have to pay any renting fees or a subscription fees. The Ethereum name service, however, you do have to pay for an ongoing rent fee. It isn't that expensive and a lot of people were able to get their own domain name and unfortunately, uh, and good thing because they got an airdrop of the ENS tokens, which is exceptionally uh, well priced at the moment. Let's go ahead and look at the Solana name service now, which is what this video is about. Solana domain service, the Solana domain name service is uh, actually provided to us by Bonfida. Bonfida is a protocol, is a, a developer development group on Solana. They are their own project. So they're saying uh, domain names is a humanized ID for the metaverse. You can get your .sol domain name that can be used to represent you in the metaverse. Now, I'm gonna give you a little heart to heart here because uh, domain names are supposed to be uh, like your own identity on the blockchain. 
leon.solana, metaverseexplorer.solana, john.solana, or whatever your internet name is, .solana. So we have, we do see a lot of people speculating on domain names. I, I really, really want to implore you, do not speculate on domain names, okay? You, it is only a, a human connection. It makes it easier for someone to send a transaction to leon.sol or metaverseexplorer.sol, or in my case, it's me, .sol. That's my uh, Solana domain name. So what can you actually do? You can quickly send and receive funds to a human readable address, which makes it much easier, bonfeeder.sol, instead of a whole string of different letters and characters as your address. You get verified so everyone knows it's actually you. You can attach your Twitter handle to your Solana domain name. Uh, you can collect and exchange domain names because now they are actually NFTs that live in your wallet. And lastly, you can also host projects with your unique and exotic domain name. And this is uh, the edge case where we haven't really seen this functionality roll out yet. You can benefit from the power of decentralization by hosting your favorite website or app with your personal domain. Think Google, but Web 3.0, uncensorable and 100% private ownership. This is not how the domain names are currently being used at the moment. They are being used as a human readable ID only on the blockchain. We don't see a proliferation of these websites uh, where the decentralized websites built on your domain name. We don't see a lot of them now. At the moment, there are some auctions going. There are always some auctions going on Solana domain names. Um, so you can see here, uh, domain name 14760.solana has one hour left and the current bid is $222, $220, which is actually pretty high for just a whole bunch of numbers. You have other numbers going for sale, uh, 15450.sol. But keep in mind, these are only numbers. I actually do not like these because they are not human readable. Who are you on the blockchain? Oh, I'm 14765. No, that's not what we actually want. You want leon.sol or you want my, my name.sol. These are some of the others that are listed by other people. Shader.sol, lepen.sol, checks.sol and bruv.sol. Bruv.sol is, is selling for $3,315. Let's have a look at some of the most valuable. Diamond hand, diamond.sol, some Chinese characters.sol, square.sol, Starbucks, hi, one, two, three, Cuban, GitHub, Mozilla.sol, Orca.sol, Swim.sol. Now these are people who are probably name squatting. Name squatting is the practice of where people think that a domain name will be acquired by a more uh, a richer or more well-off entity. And so they'll likely pay higher price for that domain name. So they purchase it now to try and sell it to the further uh, purchaser of the domain name later on. This doesn't always work. It does work in a small number of cases, only if the uh, purchaser actually wants that name. If they don't want that name, you're stuck with a domain name of a company that no one else really wants. If the company itself doesn't want it, who else is going to want it? It can be lucrative, but you have to be very, very careful. Let's look at some integrations. They do Solana FM, which is good, which is a blockchain explorer. Uh, FTX is amazing. They do integrations on this as well. You can use it on the FTX app. Phantom, of course, is the best place. And then we're going to have a look at it on Magic Eden as well. You can go ahead and connect your wallet on the top right using Phantom itself is the number one blockchain explorer. Let's go ahead, a uh, blockchain uh, wallet on Solana. Let's go ahead and browse some categories and let's look at some um, items. Let's go ahead and actually search for our own blockchain name the name at the moment. They are broken down into different clubs. This is something that we see in domain names now happening. It's become a very, very in now to be part of the dom domain name. Like you have the 999s club, uh, the 10K club under 10,000 numbers or th three digit palindromes only or single emojis only club or three letters club or the substances club. Like you can see how most people just want to belong to a specific club and you can see how many dom domain name owners are in this little club here. Now let's go ahead and try and get into and bid for a domain name. Let's search for a domain name at the top. Let's say um, John Smith. Let's see what's happening with John Smith. So John Smith .sol is actually taken. This is the owner over here. You can try and make an offer to John Smith or you can look for alternatives. John Smith underscore 69 .sol is selling for 47.63 feet up. Feeder is the native token of Bonfeeder, but you can also pay in USDC later on down the line. You can add that to the cart if you want. There are other alternatives you can go and select. If you don't like John Smith, uh, find something that is very specific to your identity in crypto. Do you have a Discord name? Do you have a Twitter handle? Anything. Let's say um, Metaverse 
Traveler. Metaverse Traveler .sol is available. It's also, you can add it to your domain name right now. Let's go ahead and add the cart and show you what the cart looks like. So this is a test underscore 29.sol and metaverse traveler.sol. The storage, you don't have to worry about too much about storage because it's a bit on the uh, complicated side, but you can go ahead and check out here. What's the total? What's it going to cost you? It's going to cost you um, 95 feeder or let's say 47.63 feeder and the gas cost to actually own this now NFT and domain name, which is 0 0.008 Solana, which is roughly less than I think 10 cents, give or take uh, one cent, give or take. So you can go ahead and check out, make sure you have the, selected the appropriate Solana wallet, and then you can go ahead and check out and you complete your purchase and sign the transaction. You do not have any feeder in this account. You will have to pay with feeder now, but when you go to Magic Eden, you can pay for a whole bunch of other stuff. So I want you to go ahead and try and search for your own domain name that you want to have. It's $20 and there is a possibility of an airdrop that might be coming later on down the line. Now let's look at this on Magic Eden and see what it's actually like as an NFT on Magic Eden. This is the Solana name service uh, it's from Bonfeeder. There is a floor price of 0 0.219 Solana, which is around, give or take, uh, uh, less than $20, around 15-ish dollars, depending on the price of Solana on the day. Let's go ahead and refresh this so you can see all the different names being sold on Magic Eden. Magic Eden is an NFT marketplace, and since these domain names are now NFTs, you can sell it on Magic Eden. We have 69, 69-69.sol for 22 Solana. We have corn, 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 corn on Solana itself. Uh, you can see Yarenko, you can see Sm Small Dick, Siski, you can see uh, Banksy, Banksy. Now I'm, I'm very, I don't know if that's how you spell it. I don't think so, but that would be very, see, this is, this is an example of the people squatting on domain names. I'm sure Banksy, the artist, doesn't actually have a Solana domain name, but someone wants to do a play on his words and buy this domain name in front of him. If he comes to Solana and he wants his own name, then what is he going to do? Because someone else already owns it. He can buy it for 0.31 Solana. Now let's go ahead and actually look at the pro trade section of the domain name site because there is an anomaly I wanted to show you guys. You can see here, let's filter by the last uh, seven days, shall we? We can see all the floor, pr uh, the floor prices usually hover around the 0 0.3, 0 0.4. And you can see here that the 11 of the last domain names have been sold uh, less than 31, 0.31 Solana. But there are some bots also in this uh, area. You can see Tidex selling for 0.007 Solana, which was just two hours ago. You can see another one here selling for 0.002 Solana, which is 454 Solana. You can also see uh, a smaller one here, 0.002 Solana, which is 0x1969 dot Solana. So you can see here, these are not real purchases. These are purchased for less than $1, less than 50 cents at the moment. So it's really, really difficult. And I would say you have to be very careful with what domain name you sell. Okay, and what domain name you want to buy for yourself. All right, what I want to do now is I want to show you how to send a test transaction to a domain name that I have myself or to any domain name anywhere in Solana. So go ahead to go to your uh, Phantom Wallet. Let's log in over here. All right, so this is my Stepn account. My Stepn uh, walking account is a GPS based walking game. All right, so I have 0 0.52 Solana here and I want to send it to my original Solana account, which is it's me dot soul. It's metaverse explorer dot soul. It's me. Let's go ahead and click on Solana. I want to go ahead and send some tokens here. And instead of putting the recipient's soul address, which is a four X Z Y two three four, you have to just type in the words that you have. So it's me dot Solana is my Solana domain name. How much do I want to send? 0 0.1 Solana. And I'm going to go ahead and send and we will see that it will go ahead and send immediately. Sent. The transaction was sent. Sent to it's me dot soul. Go ahead and view this transaction so that we can see that it's actually gone through on the Solana blockchain. And there we go. We can see the blockchain explorer showing us uh, behind the scenes how the funds went from one wallet to another wallet. 
This is the signature hash. This is the block it was propagated in. And this is the timestamp one minute ago. It was a success. Now, how much, what actually happened? It was a Solana transfer from this wallet, which is my step in wallet to a four Z J G A K U S tax for 0.1 Solana. Now this entire thing is my actual uh, main wallet, which is it's me dot soul. So it doesn't even, it, it, it already knows that I own that Solana domain name and it goes straight to my wallet itself. This makes it much easier for me to for me to give my wallet address to people outside when I actually meet them or when you talk to them or when you, uh, instead of copying, remembering your entire wallet string. All right, my friends. So that was a little bit about Solana domain names brought to you by Bonfida. In this video, I showed you number one, what is the meaning of a domain name? What do we actually use it for? Number two, how to get your own Solana domain name using the Bonfida tool. And number three, how to go ahead and buy your own domain name on Magic E. Eden. It's actually a lot easier now that it's become an NFT. So anyone can go onto an NFT marketplace and purchase one themselves. And number four, I showed you how to send a transaction to a Solana domain name and you'll be able to see how easy it is now. The whole space is getting much easier to use. I know I said easy, but <laughs> some people still need some help with this. And that's what I'm here for at Collective Shift. So if you do like the content, uh, I've got an action for you, my friends. I want you to go ahead, go to Magic Eden yourself, go to Bonfeeder, and I want you to buy and bid for your own domain domain name. It's only about $20 at the moment. I know that might be a bit of a high price for some people, but for some people, this is an excellent tool. Okay. You won't have to look at your entire string of address. You can just have your own name and that makes it incredibly accessible to a whole bunch of people in crypto. I've got two questions for you though, my friends. One, do you think it's actually worth it to get a Solana domain name? What's yours? It's me.soul. It's Metaverse Explorer. That is my crypto name. I want to know, is it worth getting one? Let me know what you think in the description down below. And number two, do you think there is a possible airdrop coming? We know the Ethereum name service, the ENS, did their own drop for people who had their own Ethereum name and they had you know, a significant airdrop amount to them. Do you think Solana will be doing their own domain name airdrop? You tell me in the description below and how you're actually preparing for it because I want to know as well. You tell me and then I can tell everyone else as well. So before we go, make sure you check out these links in the description for the discount code to the Collective Shift platform. We try and keep you updated for everything we can in the crypto ecosystem. Great resources, free resources, paid resources. They're all pretty good, my friends. So make sure you check out the other videos in the side here because we have a whole bunch of information coming. I will see you very soon, my friends. Ciao.